Well, we got a new tool in the mail today. Or actually, it came in yesterday on Friday. I uh, ordered this from All Industry Tool Supply on eBay. Uh, it was $388 and 7 bucks to ship it. We ordered it Wednesday afternoon at 2 p.m. It came in the mail on Friday by 2 p.m., which I was truly amazed at how fast it got here. I think it came with uh, three-day priority shipping free, so... Well, we've uh, been working on getting this indicated into, into, the, uh, into the old bridge port here. And you can see that uh, it's uh, pretty close. I think we're within about a half a thousandth, which is probably going to be for us a lot more accurate than uh, what our table and stuff is going to be. So I think it'll be really close to getting us in place. We're going to set the Heimer up as tool zero and do all the offsets off of that so every time we put it in um, all the tools will work from there from then on so <clears throat> as you can see in the uh, last video there the uh, clear pass servos were totally awesome 100 inches a minute was not a problem uh, we did do some work to the mill today um, we worked on um, on the drive itself we was only able to be able to wire it up with one spindle direction there. We wired it up according to the uh, the Masso book the first time and used the common to be broke and that didn't work out so well. And uh, Hind Technology actually contacted me about it and they said to uh, they would send me some more drawings of how to wire that to the, the spindle control. But we actually got to talking about it and reading about it we got to thinking about how it's ran through an optocoupler. <clears throat> and optocouplers usually have a direction of current flow that matters. So we tried that and we actually wired, the first time that it didn't work, we wired 24 volts to four and six there. You can see it on the spindle control. We wired 24 volts to that and then took the 24 volts out to the drive and it wouldn't run. <clears throat> so we ended up hooking it up with uh, 24 volts is actually hooked to 5 and 7, and 4 and 6 go out to the drive. But once we did that, the spindle control works great. We haven't had any problems. We're using the 0 to 10 volts too to control the speed, and that works really well. We've been playing with the Heimer there, like I say, getting it tuned in. We're going to work a little bit more on uh, a couple other things here today. But I thought I'd just give you guys a short update. Talk to you later.